So in the top right corner, we have Flipside Tactics Terran player Coma, who is up 1-0 in the series currently. And in the bottom left, playing for his tournament life, it is the pink Terran, Hair Young. So on this map, a couple of things I've learned is that over here, I used to always just think there was a weird pathing thing where reapers would just go around and jump down, but actually you can't jump down because that's not connected. So this map, uh, I was watching Euthermal play the other day and he got mass reapered and he said it's terrible on this map and I would believe him. I'd believe pretty much anything he says. So it looks like this time uh, Harry Young's going to do diff something different. He's not going gas first this time. Both players doing basically the same thing. I predict both players to go for a Reaper expand more than likely. Uh, Coma looks like he's actually going to hide. Okay, well, <laughs> this is why I brought up the Mass Reaper thing in case it happened. There's a second barracks going down from Coma, so he's going to at least do a two racks Reaper build. And if he wants, he could probably put down a third one right here or so. So Harry Young is scouting around his base just to make sure there's no proxies going down. Because if I was going to proxy, typically it's right here because no one ever checks right there. We've got Harry Young. He's going to send the SCV across the map. And he's actually not going to be able to get in as long as Coma remembers to raise that depot. So the second barracks is about to finish up. And we've got Harry Young taking his expansion. I'm not sure. He's got his first Reaper on the way. Will he raise the depot is the question. I'm sure he will. Surely he's got... No! This SCV could find that other barracks. Well, maybe not now. Alright, so this Reaper's gonna come in and kill off this SCV without any real hassle. I don't think this SCV is gonna find the other barracks either. But not seeing this command center is honestly another big tale. Because, like, if there's no command center there, you gotta wonder what's he doing. Oh, a little bit of Miss Micro there, and he's actually going to get this Reaper still because the second Reaper rallies out. With that second Reaper coming out, Harry Young should know pretty much what he's going up against. He's making some Marines. He's got his factory going down. Uh, I would probably go ahead and throw down a second ba barracks in this point. Or something to try and make sure that you stay safe. But we will see how this goes for Coma here. As he pokes forward his first two Reapers, two more coming out. Uh, he's going to poke down the, the Supply Depot, and Reapers do it pretty well against Marines in equal numbers because... Oh man, he's got three Marines queued up. He could definitely be using that money somewhere else. But Reapers are much better than Marines this early because the Reapers can walk up, poke the Marines a couple times, back off, heal, and the Marines can't do anything about it. The Marines aren't going to be able to heal until, well, Medivacs. And... Medivacs are quite a ways off as the starport's not even done yet. Losing the supply depot is going to be kind of costly for Harry Young. He'll be okay because of the units he's lost. But he is pretty close. Pretty good micro here out of coma, keeping all of these Reapers alive. And we've lost about 450 resources on the end of Harry Young here. This Hellion should help a little bit, but with the new Reaper grenade ability, the Reapers tend to handle Hellions pretty well. This is going to be another... Oh man, that was a weird jump. Yeah, this Hellion's going to be in trouble if it's not careful. But he's also got to be sure not to take massive hits on his Reapers from the Hellions. And I think... Unless something... Unless he's... Unless he really uh, drops his micro, I think we'll be seeing a pretty easy game on Coma's side. Let's take a look back at his base. As you can see, he killed 8 workers there. And he's up 9 workers already. That's a pretty big deal, considering he hasn't taken any damage, and all he really committed were four Reapers, and he still has two of them, so... And he's gonna get a couple more Marines, maybe? Okay, one more. He actually could. Uh, if he would've just stayed in fight, I think he could've actually just killed that Hellion and the Marine. A little bit of Miss Micro- Oh, losing that Hellion. That's unfortunate. That was completely unnecessary. So we've got Stim over halfway done for Coma. But if we look back over here, Tech Labs are just now finishing up, Reactor's just now finishing up, and he has, like, no army supply, so he's definitely not in the best position in the world. Let's take a look at the production being added on. Coma's definitely looking to put on some pressure 
adding these three barracks instead of taking a third. He's going to be quite far ahead in upgrades, all things considered, because he's going to have stem and plus one before stem is even done for Harry Young here. So, looking, I think he'll probably push out once he's got medevacs in this tank. And once he's got that, I don't really see any way... Oh, he sent this Reaper back in to be annoying again. This Reaper's up to seven kills. I wonder if he got any more... Yeah, he killed nine workers now. Jeez. And all this mining time that he's losing. <laughs> he's got all of like all of his SCVs that his natural were pulled to try and kill the Reaper. Which he does get. So that's kind of important. But I feel like Koma definitely got his value after that. And we've got a little bit of a supply cap here for Harry Young, which is not good. Two supply depots just now starting. He's probably going to want to use a supply drop if he can... Yeah, he'll have energy for one in a little bit. Let's take a look at his vision. I actually don't think he's seen... Oh, he... I'm sorry, guys. I missed that. He did a Widow Mine drop at some point in time. Did he actually get anything with it, though? Okay, three workers killed. It's not a huge deal, but it's a little bit of damage. I don't think it was worth whatever he probably lost for it. He's got a third base coming on the way. I don't really know how much I like that. I know you got to kind of take a risk to try and get back in this game, but I don't think that's the risk you want to take when you saw that your opponent had five racks. Um, he has no turrets up either, so these drops will get in really easily without much to fear. So I think this is the majority. Yeah, this right here is all of Harry Young's army, so... As soon as he sees this drop, he's going to have to pick up this tank and fly over here immediately. But Stim's done, and now he's going to Stim in and wipe out this mineral line. Killing about a half-life mule, and if he's not careful, he's going to lose... I think he's going to lose this command center. If he loses this command center, that's going to be like game-ending damage. He's just going to pick up and fly out now. Oh, no, he's actually going to fly to the main. So at this point, there's still no Stim for Harry Young, so he's still in trouble. And you can see combat shields being research or wait did he get stem okay so he does have stem my bad well Harry Young is definitely in a hairy situation now as he's down to one base his third command center is now finishing up and he's got to use that as his natural and we've got pretty much double the supply of Harry Young on Coma's side of the map as you can see he picked off a command center and a whole bunch of SCVs about 15 in that drop losing only about four marines so I would say that was pretty cost-efficient trade for him and this four tank line right here is really gonna have a hard time to get broke by Harry Young. like honestly these tanks aren't gonna be able to do anything and he actually only has one tank there's an extra medevac there oh man let's see what Harry Young can do I don't like even if he just loaded up in doom drop right now the counterattack would be devastating. I mean, there's no way he can fight that army, so I guess a base trade is the best thing he can try and force here. These marines are in trouble, taking a pretty big shot from that tank. Needs to lift this orbital over here. Try and save it. It's probably going to go down. But in the end, there's also a huge army in his base. Koma is now supply blocked. Harry Young should be lifting these buildings and trying to get them out but he's busy looking at the other side a tank just came out for coma all the SCV is coming off the line this is gonna be Harry Young's last stand right here I think the question is how well will this work out for him these two tanks are doing a ton of damage though so it's gonna be close as far as this base comes but at the same time Harry Young is just losing everything all he's got left is that one command center none of his buildings made it out if Koma just goes and snipes that command center, this game will be over no matter what. And the last bit of Harry Young's army goes down. GG. Koma takes the series 2-0.